is Jonah Granger. Uh, I, I love Silent Hill. <laughs> it's honestly like one of my favorite video games of all time. Up there with the likes of Team Fortress 2. Uh, I love it. Just, just because there's so much, like there's so much lore. There's so many puzzles to do. And in the best way, I know a lot of people don't like puzzles. But I feel like it executes it really well. Combat leaves a little to be desired, but overall it's a really good game franchise. Now, what introduced me to Silent Hill is probably my mother. She was a huge fan of Silent Hill, really. Um, she'd always play Silent Hill 2 on her original PlayStation 2. She'd always play Silent Hill 3, 4. She played all the games, really. She always talked about them. She watched the movies. She uh, got me into it. The only one she did not play was the first one, which is the one I beat and played. Played and beat. Now, my favorite Silent Hill game would probably have to be the first one. It, it feels the scariest to me. Just the atmosphere, the low poly graphics, everything. It just fits together so nicely. Uh, the the runner-up, though, would probably be the fourth game, Silent Hill 4, because, honestly, there's, like, the atmosphere, the sound design. It's all super creepy, which it should be. That's really good. That's something the newer games fail to realize, is a scariness. Uh, what I dislike about the games, and it's not really its fault, it's probably the combat. The combat kind of goes down to bat and button mashing, and that's never really fun, honestly. Uh, it can be fun sometimes, but most of the time it just doesn't work. That's what kind of what Silent Hill's combat boils down to most of the time. Either that or running. But especially at the near the end of the games, you have enough supplies to kill a small army, so it kind of just boils down to just holding a button and spamming the other until everything dies. It's, it's just not really fun. It kind of sucks out all the horror. That's my favorite character would probably have to be Harry Mason from Silent Hill 1 because uh, he's clueless. <laughs> That's why I love him. Uh, he's the, the stand-in, the character stand-in for the player. Um, he asks the same questions. He knows the exact same is us, which is nothing. That's why I just love him. He's just kind of pretty, he's really relatable. I've been interested in the Silent Hill franchise for around six years, so since I, around I was like 10, 11. Um, it's a really mysterious video game. Uh, it kind of leaves you up to interpret it. It doesn't give you a lot of answers, if any at all. That's why I love it so much. It lets your mind fester. It lets, lets you fill in all the details, gruesome or not. And that's really why I love it. And that's, what, and that's what's kept me interested for so long. Now, I, what I enjoy most about playing them is what I hate most about playing them, if that makes sense. Uh, I love the scares, how it burrows into your head and it never leaves. But when I'm playing it, it does exactly that. It burrows into my head and it never leaves my mind, so I'm just, I'm just kind of anxious the whole time, and that makes me kind of want to stop playing it in, a, in the best way that I can describe that. It, it's just a really good game, like the franchise overall, the first four games are the best, for sure.
introduced me at first would have to be my father. Um, he was really big into Silent Hill and also torturing his children with uh, horror games and horror movies alike. Um, as a kid, I was always big into the horror genre, you know, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, so a little bit of Insidious as a kid. I, I had a lot of trauma. I would say what scares me the most about Silent Hill uh, would have to be the way it treats not only mental illness, but how it treats like other things like depression, no, 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 you know? Like the bad, the bad gunk up in the head. Like they treat it with a lot of nuance and it's clearly not from like, it's not some like random indie developer who has no idea how to handle a scary scene that they throw a jump scare. It's not just genuine like normal horror, but emotional, mental, stuff like that. But yeah, like, I would say it's a lot of different things with those emotions it does. That's what's the scary part to me. My favorite character would have to be, uh, what was her name again? Cheryl? I, the only reason I like her the most is because she got done the filthiest, in my opinion. When you really think about it, not only was, it was Silent Hill 3, right? Not only was Silent Hill 3 an okay-ish game to me, it wasn't bad, it wasn't great, but then also the remakes were absolutely atrocious. There were more bugs in the remake than the original. I'm being genuinely honest, go count the bugs in each game, you'll find it. Um, also, I think just the ports themselves were horrendous and it was a disgrace to Silent Hill in general. Not only the voice acting got, like the voice actors got changed, but it would bug out constant frame drops, not only on console, but even on some of the ports to PC. So, come on Konami, fix your stuff. I'd say what I enjoy is the mystery it has within it. If you just go into the series with a blind eye and no actual previous like knowledge of the franchise, then you'll realize that this is a world with a lot more than just meets the eye. And that there's a whole deeper story just underneath waiting for you to go dig it up. I would say what I dislike the most is you can see very visually throughout the whole series, the steady like downset and trends with not only quality, but story vision and just art style in general like if we were to compare let's say Silent Hill 1 and 2 with Silent Hill Downpour and I don't know Origins you'd get two very good games and two very stinky games like don't get me wrong if they didn't have the Silent Hill title on them they'd probably be good games right I, I'm not gonna lie like Downpour would probably be a fire game and I would probably play it a lot more if it didn't try to put Silent Hill on it and try to act like it was. I would have to say my favorite in the series at this current moment would have to be, it's a really big tie between one and also four. I say this because as much as I love to rag on four for the mechanic of you are literally just in the house till you go through that hole and it's basically just a back and forth of those two transitions, it's a pretty good game. Unless it's three and I'm getting it wrong. Probably.